Alright guys, welcome back. So in this video, let's go ahead and create a function for our, not information now, but for our pages. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm pretty much just going to copy and paste. I'm going to actually, I'm going to close these two up here. TextMate's got a pretty cool, just close that out. Okay, it's got a pretty cool program where I click on this and it could just minimize it like that with the program still being able to run. Pages for ID. Okay, so let's go ahead. Create this new function. I'll go ahead and call this get page pages by ID. Let's go ahead and give it an argument. We'll go ahead and call this variable page underscore ID. And actually, look at that. I've, there's an error right here. Back from the last video, I don't know if you guys caught that or not, but I have one too many parentheses. So backspace that right there. Let's go ahead and save this. And we're not reloading anything right now, so this is kind of hard to test. So I'm that's why I'm doing these videos in a bunch of different parts because there's a long way to go before we refresh our browser. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's just steal all this stuff for the most part. Actually, I'm going to take this bra this bracket too, and I'm going to backspace this one now, and I'm going to copy and paste right there. There. Okay, perfect. So, do, 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 do. let's go ahead and just change up our information right here. So we're not grabbing it from the table information; we're grabbing it from the table pages, and ID is now. page underscore ID and where else do we have that so we want page set to result we want to return page and let's go ahead and save that and let's go ahead and take this little piece of information right here let's go grab our function let's pull back to our content.php page let's put it right up here at the top Okay, perfect. And let me scroll down a little bit. And I'm going to get getting ready to test this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab where is our go ahead and create variables for our two functions that we just created now. So I'll go ahead and call this cell underscore table one equals get info by ID. And I'll do the same thing for this underscore table two equals that uh oh let's go ahead and back that up a little bit okay I want to get ready to go ahead and use this variable in our main content area so I'm gonna go ahead and copy this right here select underscore table one and let's scroll down to our main content area and I want to echo I'll just do it in the main content area. So I'll go ahead and take this out and I can get rid of our break tag right there and where it says main content here I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in this information but what am I missing? What am I missing? Okay so I wanna go ahead and echo uh oh let's get our PHP tags all straightened out A lot going on right now. And let's go ahead and index the correct category field, which was menu. And let me see how this looks. Okay, this. Okay, let's go ahead and save this. <clears throat> in the next video, we'll show <clears throat> I'll show you how this works. So good luck, and I'll see you guys in the next video.